My new favorite way of making ice cream at home is with dry ice, frozen solid carbon dioxide. You can buy this in supermarkets these days, in the United States at least. You just have to ask for it. You have to go up front. They keep it in like a special cooler for two reasons. One, they don't sell it to kids because it's dangerous. And two, it needs to be kept in that special cooler because the second it comes out, it's going to start to sublimate. That is to say, it is going to turn directly from a solid to a gas. It skips the liquid phase. So it's constantly off-gassing, it's constantly shrinking, and it'll be gone by tomorrow. So you gotta buy it the day that you plan to use it, and try not to touch it with your hands, it'll give you frostbite. Other thing is that you wanna work with it in a well-ventilated space. Like I have a big kitchen, I've got some windows open, and that's fine. If you have a small kitchen with no windows, maybe you don't wanna do this, because you know carbon dioxide is not toxic in the way that carbon monoxide is, but if a lot of carbon dioxide gas builds up in your environment, it's just going to crowd out all of the oxygen and you could totally suffocate. It's a thing that's more commonly happens in like cars or closed environments, but in a kitchen it's worth being worried about. So if you have windows, open them up. Now what we need to do is convert this into snow. Drop it in there, close it up, and then pulse until I get a fine powder. Now you could do this by just wrapping up the dry ice in a kitchen towel and then smashing it with a hammer, but then you'd probably get some big chunks of dry ice. And if they're really big chunks, then they might not all melt or sublimate inside the ice cream and you could end up touching your tongue with big chunks of dry ice, which could potentially give you, you know, a little frostbite on your tongue. So I definitely recommend doing this in the food processor to get a nice fine sand. There we go completely powderized. Perfect. Now what we got to do is we got to make our ice cream base. And this will work with any ice cream base, you know, dairy, non-dairy, cooked, raw, doesn't matter. I'm just going to do a really, really simple base. Four parts cream, parts by volume in this instance. Four parts cream to two parts milk. Straight cream would just be too much fat. And then between one and two parts sugar, depending on how sweet you like it. I guess I'm going to do, I don't know, one and a half parts sugar in there. Splash of vanilla or any other flavoring that you want. Chunks, no chunks, literally whatever you want, this method will work fine for it. This I'm simply going to stir up and the sugar won't even dissolve all the way. I just need to get it like dispersed evenly. Then we can make it into ice cream and this is going to happen so fast you won't believe it. So I think the best way to do this is that everybody who's going to have ice cream should get one of these, like a nice big metal mixing bowl, something that looks bigger than it needs to be in order to hold your portion. And metal or plastic. You wouldn't want to do this in like glass or ceramic because it could crack from thermal shock. Pour like a cup of this in here for like one person, one serving. Then think of this dry ice snow as an ingredient. It's cold. Add cold one spoonful at a time and mix it in. And then you can do this with a hand whisk, but it's way easier with electric beaters. Just beat it in. And see, this is already a blast. Like, this is so much fun. But one thing you can see is that it's literally boiling up. The carbon dioxide is turning into a gas and bubbling out. And if I was doing this in a smaller bowl, uh, it would boil over and it would get all over your hands and you know, there's stuff in here that's dangerously cold. You wouldn't want that to happen. So just go one spoonful at a time and do it in a bowl that seems too big for the job. And you don't want to do this too much at once because if you put in too much, it'll just lock up solid and you'll have to wait for it to melt before you can mix it up. Look at that. It's like we're making a monster movie in the 30s, you know? Give it a taste. Mmm, delicioso helado. Sorry, I'm working on my Spanish these days with Rosetta Stone, sponsor of this video. Really, it's an embarrassment that I can't speak Spanish. I mean, I live in a Spanish-speaking hemisphere. Much of my country speaks Spanish. A lot of people that I work with and interact with in my daily life speak Spanish. I studied Spanish a little in school. I really need to be able to speak Spanish. Come on, it's time. So, Rosetta Stone. It couldn't be more simple or intuitive. They just show me things and they tell me how to describe them. And I either identify what they're saying or I say it myself. El niño escribe árabe. Oh, the boy is writing Arabic. That kid? I swear, 15 minutes on this thing was more progress than I made in two years of high school Spanish. And they've got on-demand videos, they've got live lessons, they've got phrase books that would be very useful for travel. In fact, here, let's try some restaurant-related stuff. Quisiera usted café. 
I get access to all the Rosetta Stone languages, Dutch, Japanese, all kinds of things I could learn. And it's a lifetime membership. You pay once, you never pay again, you can revisit the material anytime. And of course, learning a language takes a lot of time, but with a lifetime membership, you can learn at your own pace. And with my link in the description, you can save 50% off of your membership. Save 50% with my link in the description. Thank you, Rosetta Stone. And then as soon as it looks like ice cream, it's done. This needs a little more cold. And as you mix it, you're not just spreading around the cold, you are also whipping in some air, which is a crucial ingredient in any ice cream. And there you go. Instant, beautiful, soft serve texture. I mean, look at that. And here's the thing that's really neat about it. It tastes different. It is slightly carbonated. The Dry ice snow here is not just cold, it's also an ingredient that stays inside the finished mixture. What happens is you get a little bit of a residue of carbonic acid inside here. It's got this little kind of tang, a little bit of acidity to it, and it's a little bit fizzy. It has an effervescence to it. And what is amazing to me about it is that it tastes like a Coke float. You know, like an ice cream float inside Coca-Cola. It tastes like Coca-Cola. I suspect that much of the taste of Coca-Cola is just the combination of carbonic acid and sugar. Now here's the thing, if it ever starts uh, melting on you, it's no problem. Just put in a little bit more snow. You can bring it right back again. And then if you want more of a hard ice cream vibe, you simply transfer this into something in the freezer and leave it there overnight. And then it'll look like this. Let's say we wanted to do a more interesting flavor. We can just add flavors straight in here without even washing the bowl. I'm just gonna put in like, I don't know, tablespoon of cocoa powder, give my base a stir to get the sugar redistributed and some of it is settled on the bottom. Pour some of that in. And uh, cocoa powder can be a little bit hard to make disperse in cold liquid. See, you just gotta beat it. Eventually it'll sort of soak in there. Good enough. All right, time to just start putting in a spoonful of cold at a time. It's so awesome. And it's instant. You know, other ways of making ice cream take like a long time. This is instant. And there, now that it's chocolate, you can actually have the color contrast to see those little sort of clumps of dry ice snow that are in there. You really wanna get those like mixed in well and broken up because you don't want those clumps hitting your tongue. They could potentially hurt your skin. All right, now I think I'm gonna go some chunks this time. I got some white chocolate chips, nice color contrast, good for TV. Stir those in. Now you can see I put a little bit too much cold in there. It kind of locked up on me a little bit. That's okay. I can just let this sit for a couple of minutes, warm up. Maybe put in a little more base if it's tasting too chocolatey. And there you go. Look at that ice cream. It looks like frosting, but it's not. It's ice cream and it's so good. So there's the method. Have fun with it. Don't hurt yourself, okay? Mm.